So first, I'm just going to open up a new page here. And I'm going to select my machine model setting. In your case, you have the 300 by 200. So I'd select the one with 300 uh, by 200 millimeters. All right. So left click. And then go OK. Uh, press and hold the shift key and left click. All right. <clears throat> so now go into file, import. Just taking a second here. And then I'm just going to load a DXF off of my desktop here. Um, let's see. And load this one here. All right. Hit OK. All right. So press, press and hold Shift. Left click. So center my design. Uh, in this case, I'm only going to use one of these DXFs. And this is actually a little bit larger than what I need. Um, so I'll just reduce the scale here. Um, make it 220 or 300 or 195. Okay. okay, so there it is. And then I'll uh, align it to so in area center. So notice this design here has a, a line going through the outside as well as lines going through the inside. Uh, kind of like a double line going through the inside. So if I just wanted to uh, trace the inside lines, what I would do is I would grab my draw tool here, my straight line tool, right? And then I would go into uh, my snap setting here. Select that, and then on my snap setting, you have four options here. One is snap to grid, this is snap to curve, snap to a point, and this is to get really close, right? So I'll leave these three active. And then what I'll do is I'll go in here and say I want to start my line here. Okay, notice it's snapping to the actual line there. And then I'm just going to go across down. And then I can continue the line or I can do line by line, right? So if I want to finish my line here, I right click. So there's one line I did. And then I'll reselect my uh, straight line tool and then go in here. And then I would trace my second line. And with the space bar, if you uh, select on the uh, outside of the line, you can always go back. All right, so then I would do my second line there. Boom, done. And just to kind of uh, fast forward, I'm going to delete this. That way you can see the lines I drew. All right. Um, and yeah, that would be it. If these are the only lines you need out of the entire design, then you can just go in here and give it the properties under property. Uh, give it your back tag, you know, V back, V back, and then give it your stitch length if it's, you know, five, uh, five millimeters each stitch or however many stitches per inch you have. And then at that point, you can center it or you can leave it where it was. Um, and then you go file, uh, write to machine media if you want to write it to the machine, um, or you can save as, which is saving as a drawing file. Um, and that's it.